I'm Don Johnson. I was the third bishop of the Diocese of West Tennessee, and I had the privilege of serving with many of you from 2001 to 2019 before Bishop Phoebe was elected as my successor. It was a time of transition, as all segments of time tend to be. So what were some of the things going on back then? And uh, what sort of bridge from where we were in the beginning of the diocese to the fact that I had two predecessors who served faithfully before me and brought their own gifts and uh, applied them to the situation that they inherited. And then um, I brought the gifts that I had to bring during my period of time. So that pattern continues and will continue for you because certainly while bishops are part of the story of the Episcopal Church and the Episcopal Church in West Tennessee, the story is not about bishops, certainly not about bishops only. It's about lay people, it's about staffs, it's about clergy persons, it's about uh, clergy families, it's about being in a community or creating a community together and learning what it's like in that day and in that time to find ways to love the world with the love of Christ. That's what I think we were all about and it is what the future is all about as we continue to bear witness to God's love. Going back in time now, before the Diocese of West Tennessee was created, I was part of a group at a convention in the Diocese of Tennessee that voted to create the Diocese of West Tennessee. I'd served exclusively in the Diocese of Tennessee. Bishop Bill Sanders was my bishop at the time. And it was in that convention that we decided it was time to try something new. How I ended up in the Diocese of West Tennessee in some ways is kind of a simple story to tell, but I believe it was part of the movement of the Holy Spirit. I ended up here because someone from the diocese asked me to, to have my name put in consideration for discernment, that sort of seeking the mind of Christ, seeking the will of the Holy Spirit. This reminds me of one of those days last June that you probably remember now. It was in those really hot, dry days that were unseasonably hot. And on one of those days, uh, I was asked by my 13-year-old grandson uh, to take him fishing. It would be a great understatement to say, I don't know much about fishing. But we went out to the lake and not knowing what I was doing, I saw a guy sitting down just to the right of us. And I walked down to him and I said, I don't know much about fishing, could you help me? And he was really kind, really helpful. I said, first time I've ever been fishing. He said, never too late to start. I tell the story because I didn't know much about fishing when I started. And I sure didn't know much about fishing when I started either. But I had to ask people, and they were more than willing to help me find the way. Some of them I didn't even have to ask. They just helped me. And I think that's the way ministry gets done in the church anyway. Times change. The issues change. The fish change. But Jesus said he was going to make us fishers of people. And in that context, it was important to give it a try. Why? because I've been asked to. That's how I ended up here. Now, having been retired a couple of years, I'm looking back on it and thankful for trying things that moved me out of my comfort zone. Pretty sure I didn't always get them right, but my prayer was always, may your word be spoken and your word only heard. Or if you will, I was asking God to help and lead the way and trust in God to make up the difference when I didn't know which end of the fishing pole to hold. So you are blessed to inherit 
a diocese that was created by people a lot smarter than me, the people who were trusting in God enough to invite the right people at the right time to come on board. I think that happened with Bishop Phoebe. Very excited at the work she's doing. It is not the way I would do things. Not because it's wrong, I just didn't have the gifts. But she knows I'd do that. And there'll be plenty of things she doesn't know how to do either. And she'll just have to ask somebody else to help her along the way. The Diocese of West Tennessee is a great place. You, the people of West Tennessee, are great people. You are loved by God. It is your anniversary. It is time to celebrate. I wish you only the very best in ministry and in God's future. God bless you.